Hey folks, it's Little Landstrider here, and welcome back to another episode of Atom Smasher. I'm here with Dernal. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, today, we would like to get some things ready. We're getting ready to go to space. We're still a few episodes away from maybe. We've uh, set up this composer, and if we look in here, you can kind of see that we've been doing this thing where we're getting ready to make this gigantic space station. Now, before we head up into space and do all of that other fun stuff, and even before we touch our uh, uh, advanced um, ad advanced rocketry, that's my cat, <laughs> our advanced rocketry stuff, we, we haven't decided if we're going to do it our own advanced rocketry stuff or if we're going to borrow uh, Whisperfire's advanced rocketry stuff because she's actually finished her series uh, in the pack. Now, she definitely didn't do everything that you can possibly do in the pack. She just did the things that were interesting to her. And so I'm just fine with that. That's, it's a, that's the nature of Minecraft. Uh, I'm going to try to touch on a little bit of everything before it's all said and done, even uh, open computers and everything else like that. But I want a big ass, big old space station to put a Jumbotron computer in and, you know, and I want it to control our fusion reactor and all kinds of other cool stuff. And we'll get, we'll get all, to all that. Eventually we may move our stuff up into the space station and we haven't decided if we're actually going to put the space station in space. There's a possibility that we'll put it in a void dimension where we don't have to worry about ox putting oxygen vents and everything all throughout the base. So these are decisions that haven't been made yet. But today, we have decided that, you know, having that space station, whether it be in um, a void dimension or in space itself, we want creative flight. And that is going to require an anti-gravity device from Tech Guns. I think that's the only creative flight item in the in the pack creative flight wise anyway but that's what we're going for and to do that we have to make these anti-gravity cores in the reaction chamber and that's going to require a couple things it's going to one require another star which we don't have any yet and it's going to require a molten ender so Dornell is sorting out the bits for the melter to get that molten ender how's that coming along Melter's ready. melter is ready okay so maybe we could get that actually made so uh, in the latest update of nuclear craft there are now uh, new components that can be crafted and uh, one of those is these things like these servo mechanisms and stuff like that um, I'm gonna grab one of those out I guess we need one and that is probably gonna go here um, not sure what uh, what's what's I guess it would help if I just looked at the recipe for this melter there we go ah we need a machine chassis from tech uh, from there which is uh, next one down so that's some steel some lead and a tough alloy gives us the machine chassis these are no these are some of the new blocks that have been added in the latest version of uh, nuclear craft so it makes it a little more interesting to craft um, and I haven't made any too many adjustments to that stuff yet uh, or nor do I think I may. I may or may or may not. I don't know. Not 100 sure. But we got to put it down here someplace, and I think the, probably the most optimal place is to like stick it back here. That does mean that this light's kind of in the way, so we'll just move it over one. Hey, um. Yes. Bit of an issue. Bit of an issue. After telling me that I had the room to record, she's now bringing everybody in here, so it's going to get really loud. Oh, well, wonderful. Um, which I guess we'll just keep press on, <laughs> just press on. So yeah, if you guys hear background noise, uh, bl blame, blame Darnell's wife. <laughs> I <can't>. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I am. So, but uh, yeah, we'll just press on. Uh, that gives us power to the melter, and now that, of course, we are gonna set to configure this as whoops I didn't want to I'm actually got it in wrench mode there that's why I picked that up I didn't want to pick that up I want to set it over to fluids and extract from the melter that should work now the anti-gravity device uh, right here anti-gravity core uh, obviously require other than requiring the nether star is going to require molten ender and Molten Ender, we get 250 millibuckets for one Ender Pearl. So to get that four buckets, 
for that first one, we're going to need a stack of Ender Pearls, because remember they stack in 16. Hopefully we have the not enough. <laughs> I didn't... You know what we didn't do? We didn't check to make sure we had enough Ender Pearls before we started this process. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to take a cut and go and get some Ender Pearls from the Ender Farm. That'll give me an opportunity to take Dornell down and, sh and uh, do that and show them where it's at. So... Maybe I shouldn't cut. Maybe we should uh, just head that way. Uh, maybe it'll be a good, a good idea too to uh, to make a teleporter for down there if we're gonna do that, or maybe move the en Enderman, one of the Enderman spawners. I'm trying to debate here. What do you think? Um. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> All right, well, we, we got to get the Ender Pearls for that because it's going to take two stacks. Yeah, and... well, I'm going to go ahead and keep working on getting these recipes ready for you because okay. they are very, very detailed if you want to go get that other. Okay, doke. I will head that way and pick up some Ender Pearls. All right, I have returned from my trip down to the Coutcombe Enderman Farm. In the process right now of just reloading all my ammo you can see that I used up all of my LMZ magazines here I actually carry 42 of those it's a pretty good amount um, a couple of tanks of fuel that's just from exploring earlier and a few energy cells because I was using my laser rifle a little bit and of course the armor itself does use those uh, energy cells but uh, if we just get turned around here those energy cells can be charged up right here. It doesn't take much at all. Uh, this has been re making rifle rounds for me. And in order to reload my LMZ, it is just a matter of crafting these up into, actually it doesn't matter, that's uh, shapeless, rifle rounds, stacks. Doing that, uh, wow, that is actually not gonna fill up my stack. <laughs> Surprise there, do we have any over here? Let's see here, what we have extra over here. Might need to craft a bit more just to get uh, all the rest of my, uh, so close, so close. Of course, as soon as I uh, reload this, that's going to give me another empty to fill back up, which will be in my tech guns thing here. So let's grab that last one out. And hopefully this is gonna be, that's an interesting thing about these ammo presses. It does sometimes need to be like, you have to like nudge it like if this slot gets full and then it stops crafting, it's not going to even attempt again until you, uh, you know, you update it basically. So not sure what's up with that, but this rocket fuel can come over here, I believe. Nope, that's right. I put that away somewhere. Yeah, it's actually right there. There's the rocket fuel. So I'll just toss those in there for the time being. I'll fill them up later and we can get that last bit of reloading going on here. If I just do a little of that, there we go, fully reloaded. So something else I got while I was down there, you can see that I ended up, I've totally forgot that in this pack we have a thing that changes the, the ender pearls to stack in 64, which is kind of nice. So it isn't a full stack. I only need like 32 total, uh, 16 for each one of the cores that we're gonna make. But I did get a bunch of heart crystals and hopefully, uh, I think I can actually go above 5x because some of that health is, is, yeah, there we go. Some of that health that I have is actually from my cyberware. So normally you would only be able to go 5x and fill that all the way in. But if you do get bonuses from your cyberware or from your armor, which I believe the power armor also gives me some bonuses, those do stack up. So you can get up to the 6x, uh, but it's not, a, it's not your health. You know what I mean? If you, if you understand what I'm trying to say there. It's uh, bonus health from other augmentations that you're getting. Um, put those little bit of heart crystals away that I have left over. Uh, something else I noticed in this pack, you can get, you if you kill things with a laser rifle, I mean, if you kill uh, the little spirit guys that, that occasionally spawn when you kill stuff with a laser rifle, you can actually get the ectoplasm that way. So you don't have to craft the potions, but it's a lot easier if you're trying to do it earlier game because the laser rifle is kind of a late game thing. Anyway, let's head on down to the basement and we can throw us some of these in to the melter here. In fact, we might as well just go ahead and 
Before we do that though, I want to make sure that I set this to the 40% right there, four buckets. So, because we don't want to have more ender fluid than that in there, but that'll go ahead and start melting. Uh, it has a, has, a, has a graphic, that's kind of cool. And that's going to melt down. I didn't bring down the boosters, but that's okay because as soon as this starts to melt a little bit and it goes in there, I'm going to walk away from it. We're going to go do the other th portion of the thing that we need to get done, which is to... Yeah, it's a little... Did it get in there? Yeah, it's a little bit in there in the bottom. I can see it now. Cool. That's going to work. That's what I was concerned about. So let's head back up to the work floor, put away the rest of the ender pearls that we got. That should be enough for some crafting and stuff that we can do later. Um, I'm also, I got one ur enriched uranium here in my inventory. We're going to have to take the other uranium dust to make another uh, enriched uranium because those are going to go into not so not not the anti-gravity core but into the making of the nuclear power cell the nuclear power cell the depleted one you initially craft in the fabricator I think Dornell already completed that for us somewhere I don't don't see where maybe they're over here now no well that's where they need to go eventually that will go there Oop got to actually have the depleted power cell and I bet they're in his inventory or they're in a crafting grid over here somewhere uh, who knows let's move on we'll wait for him to come back he has stepped away for a minute uh, but probably by the time he gets back we can have our shield projector set up so we got a shield projector tier one here and pull that on out and something else I probably should do is either craft another power cell or go grab the power cell off of our uh, out of out of the other uh, out of the nether that's on a miner right now. I don't not sure why it's not currently mining. It may be done, but I somehow doubt it. Uh, but let's grab another power cell. Power cell. Uh, hopefully we can do that. Nope, we sir sure can't. Uh, of course we need blocks of redstone. Which two, three, and four of those. And the other thing we'll need is a machine frame, which uh, we don't have any steel plates. It's a lot of things to teach this thing how to make. That would sure be nice if we could uh, have it know how to make steel plates. Those are easy enough uh, in the metal press here, and that's probably the recipe we'll eventually teach it, but that's all for another day, or maybe for some off-camera work. Uh, so we just need those four steel plates to make a power cell. Use a machine frame, and now we can look up power cell. That should get us another power cell. Another never hurts to have an extra power cell. Uh, we'll also probably need a power cell card too. So let's just grab one of those and go down. To the basement here there's our power cell right up there that we use as our primary input to the system to the network of power cells that we use and if i put that there that should link it to this power cell yep id3 we're gonna need some power for our our shield projector uh, because we're not we're gonna do it like right here we're gonna like go away a bit uh, so 256 is the total amount that we could have. Um, 64 shield template, probably not enough to do what I want to do. So let's go ahead and make some more shield templates right here. I don't know what the different colors are for. Uh, I think those are actually just to differentiate two intersecting shields so that the projector doesn't... Um, let's go... Well, I mean, this thing can handle 256, so we might as well go ahead and just grab out four sta or three stacks at least. Yeah, well, why not? We'll just get the full amount that we can possibly use with this projector. Why not? Why not? Now, let's go up to the ground floor. We'll go upstairs. Uh, it is nighttime outside, so we'll just sleep to give ourselves some light. head on out someplace on the island here in fact let's go uh, east to the east end of the island there's already some damage over here so if we end up 
causing a bunch of fracas and a bunch of damage uh, if this doesn't work the way I think it should. I'm pretty sure we've done this before. Po possibly in a previous uh, in a previous series. You can see that this big explosion hole here, I'm pretty sure that was caused by a um, uh, what am I trying to say? Not not another. Or, uh, by, by a uh, Dalek. So there are certain dialects that explode, and I do believe that's what that is. I want to break this up, this nether portal, because it's really, we don't need it. Oh, and probably should use something that's going to break it proper. I do have a steel pick in here for that, because this, this has been needed to go away for a while. Has been needing to go away for a while because we don't we don't we don't come out of that anymore. I finally I did finally fix the position in the Nether so we don't have that issue. So let's just kind of use this this little flat flattish area here to set up our uh, Nether uh, Wither killing room little, little thing. So we're gonna end up having a shield projector and we're gonna need to power it. So we'll put that new power cell down and we'll go ahead and link it like that and it will get power from the network. And now we have a total of 3 million RF in our network, nice. And now we're gonna lay out a fairly standard uh, wither killing room. I'm gonna do two, three, four, five by four for the actual room itself where we're gonna spawn it and then we're does it need it needs to be one two three one two three four tall and then then we put a roof on it like so and I'm gonna do this uh, hopefully we don't have any issues here we need to put the back wall on Alright, and then like that, and we come across like that. There's the roof, and then we're going to come down one, two, three, and then we're going to. I like to leave both the sides open, so we're going to go right down the center like that. And then I want to do another one, two, three, uh, and then we'll come out, and yeah, we'll do it like that, like around the corners, like this. Now this area doesn't need to be as tall. In fact. Um, yeah, that'll work. And that should be enough. Now we have plenty left over. Uh, but that should prevent any damage from escaping. And I believe all I have to do now to activate this is to get on my smart wrench here and go like that. Yep, that's it. It's activated. All those disappeared because they have been uh, they have been programmed as the the area that's going to be uh, the the force field. But what we want to do is we want to say uh, we don't want anything to pass. We want it to be solid. We want it to be all um, because it has an opening. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, so we don't need to be able to pass through it ourselves. Now we could set it up so that we could pass through it ourselves, but let's, uh, I don't need to worry about damage. Let's just add that. Default is solid to all. I just realized we're in the wrong channel. Oh, is that, uh, is that what's up? Yeah. Hi, Whisper. Hi. Hey. I was wondering what you two were up to. We are recording an episode right now. You're welcome to come join us. We're about to kill a, a wither in a very interesting way. I'm actually going to load the pack and play on the server for the first time. 
Oh, you you were on the uh, what is she talking? She's talking about uh, Mystic Misadventures. Yes, I got another one of those coming out real soon too, and this probably actually be out before this episode. But. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are definitely on the wrong channel. Yeah. Yeah, we should probably do that. Do fix that there then, Dornell. Why don't we go uh, yeah, jump down to the other channel real quick. Oh, welcome back. I hear lots of things going on over your place. <laughs> I apologize to you and apologize to the viewers. Okay, so uh, we I've, I've gone down to the east, well, down by the crater <laughs> i removed that uh with another portal and we do have the and i just finished setting up the shield projector now and then i've uh just added the rules for the shield projector if you want to bring us the three skulls that we needed and uh four uh soul sand over here uh, I think the only other thing, I think I need a lever, but I should have one of those if I look around in my bag, I hope. Yes, I have a lever. Because this does require a lever for it to activate. Oh, yeah, we're not getting it. Oh, yeah, this needs to be set to out. There we go. Now we're getting power into the shield projector. Nice. There's our, there's our, there's our force field. Woohoo! We can walk up in here. We've got a space inside and everything. It's solid to everybody. And not going to be able to break it. Lovely. Well, sir, if you want to go ahead and you know how to do this, right? Remember, uh, there's a basic standard wither chamber here. For, is uh, place it against the back wall in there. And we can watch it from the outside. Another the other reason I like to have the two entrances on the inner chamber is that way if you have more than one person that wants to fight it you both can get to it all right you get on out of there move away a little bit and let's let's uh, cross our fingers for for a smooth kaboom oh look at that perfectly contained perfectly contained all right let's get in here and shoot it up lots of noise lots of noise Done and done. That was fun. That was easy. Love it. All right, now if I if I do that, okay, maybe I have to actually set this to respond to redstone. Uh, doesn't matter. On to activate. There we go. Now we can turn it off and on as needed. Great. These these are really nice shield projectors. Great way to protect your base. Great way to protect your base. And you can set them up so that only the people that you want are able to pass through them and it's solid to everybody else uh, a lot of things that can be done with those um, so anyway you got the, the the wither star now we're gonna need two wither stars the other wither star I've actually got uh, some trades going on so in the latest version of the pack uh, the um, the aftermarket's pretty much working pretty much working I, I it still might be dinging in single player a bunch like maybe more than it should uh, but what we got going on although we could do another one uh, especially since whisper just joined and she might want want to do the wither star thing I'm not sure maybe maybe she'll put out another episode that would be cool but uh, anyway we shall uh, i'm gonna buy mine basically Hello. so hey you just missed did the you, wither did you want to kill um, one i need to fix my armor ah okay. uh, you you really don't if you're just coming over to kill a wither because it's it's 100 percent safe <laughs> um with, with yeah. the way that we set it up it's pretty cool i don't know if you've ever seen a wither chamber before we've made a wither chamber with a uh, force field projector from rf tools and it is pretty neat it's toggleable uh, it's just uh, just one of the few things that you can do one of them or one of a few things one of the many things you can possibly do with force field projectors uh, i'll be happy when they do eventually uh add back in the feature where it would uh 
where, where you could make them rep make them look like any block you wanted because that's actually pretty cool I don't think that's currently functioning in the in the current update but I'm sure that they will get around he'll get around back to it um, but yeah I'm gonna end up buying another wither star since I have a gold coin the aftermarket is mostly working in in multiplayer um, as soon as the next update comes out and it will be out by the time this video is released I should have it completely fixed up for single player I mean it won't be working the way I ideally want it to but it'll at least it won't be dinging people to death because <laughs> that was uh, that's an issue I'm not okay, sure what that so bug is let's talk about let's talk about making this anti-grav module okay um, there is a chance for an explosion I don't know how much damage it's going to do Arr. Now here's the hard part with with this is getting hitting the claim button before it flashes off. <laughs> uh, I did, yeah. So, are we gonna do another one for? Did I actually Mr. claim it already? Yeah, we can. Um, certainly can. Yeah, that's a that's a thing I don't get because. Like on these uh, on this quest book, it should let me select the Nether Star. Maybe it's because I have so many selections possible. I'm not sure, guys. It is super annoying, and it's not popping up in there at all. Might need to do a third, a third, three, three, just to do it, because this is totally not working the way it's supposed to. You see that the claim button keeps flashing off and on. So maybe I don't have as fixed as up as much as I think I do, but it should be fixed hopefully. Somehow I'll figure it out by the time the next update's out. And hopefully that will be out by the time this video hits. Hey, there we go. I managed to get it. I managed to click, click it, finally. Um, very weird, very weird. But yeah, we'll do another one for, for, uh, for a whisper as soon as she comes over. Um, as far as the explosion, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. I don't think there's. As long as you, as long as you are in attendance of the reaction chamber, it should not be an issue. So let's let's look at the are we ready? of this. Pretty much, I think so. So I need to start out with a starting intensity of eight, and it could have an intensity jumps of plus or minus two, and the chance to jump is a hundred percent. So it is definitely going to jump. So I need to be in the interface, adjusting the uh, another star or adjusting the intensity as it starts. So if I go ahead and set it to eight to start with, because that's the intensity it needs to start. Um, I'm gonna do one, and then I'm gonna have you do one, Dornell. Okay? Hey, what's I, I can watch you do it. So go ahead and do it. I'll well, let you do them both. yeah, but you can't record the X. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I'm in the interface, they can't see what's going on in the machine. So it, it's kind of like... Oh, you know, uh, I got you. So I would like to do one. I'll do one in the interface, and then you do the next one, and then I'll watch you from the out, from the exterior. So uh, we'll yep. put the Wither Star in there. And you can see there it goes. It's started. And I got to go. I gotta adjust the intensity up. I got to adjust the intensity down up it's gonna be random every time that time I didn't have to adjust it I gotta bring it down but basically what you want to do is if you uh, if you look in the interface there Dornell before you start now it, so thankfully it already had the, uh, the, uh, the the other ender fluid ready to go yep um, and if you want one of these two whisper you're gonna need to make some more ender fluid but uh, I don't know how much how much you plan on playing on the packs still. I mean, are you gonna play some more, you know? Or are you gonna? I know you, you said you're done recording your series, but are you gonna keep playing? Well, um, I'm going to experiment more with advanced rocketry, trying to get the satellite to work with the mining missions. And hopefully, because there's definitely been an update to advanced rocketry for the next, for the, as soon as the next update comes out, which I'll be putting together like tomorrow which should be out by the time this one airs but, and I uh, have to say we should show her the silhouette of what we're going to build 
Oh yeah, we can do that. We can do that here towards the end of this uh, episode because I definitely want to tease the audience a little bit more about our potential space station because it is going to be epic. Going to be epic. All right, I'm going to watch you, you. Yeah, I'm going to watch you. Um, just keep in mind that huh. every every time it ticks and goes wow wow, that means you got to yep. adjust that intensity to the red line. Yep. Red line will jump know. up and down. I'm going to try to do the best. Okay, here we go. Don't blow us up. <laughs> Looks like he's getting it. I hope. I hope he's getting it. That time he didn't have an adjustment. That's good. No adjustment that time. Hey! Looks like he got it. Nice. Alright, so we got two anti gravity cores. Okay, so now while we got Whisper here, let's go do this again on camera and show her the uh, chamber. Sure. Sounds like a good like a plan. Up to. Do you got the materials? Yes. Awesome. All right. Let's head on out. Um, I'm going to make it daytime for us. Thank you. That was a good idea. He's going to be a bit tougher this time around because look at their difficulty. Yeah, difficulty is up, and there's three of us. Yeah, that's because there's three of us here. So, that's fine. He wasn't that tough to begin with. Uh, particularly since you can still, you can actually use the. Uh, yeah, you're following. Okay, you can use the guns even after he gets down below fifty percent, so they don't count as ranged attacks. At least versus the wither. So yeah, this is our little wither chamber right over here. I'll wait till you get over here. I'll show you. Um, do do stand back a little bit. Do stand back a little bit, or you get captured by the shield. So this. Okay, so go ahead and show the inside. Yep, inside here. I got it. Like basically, I do this thing so that the explosion can't go around the corners and get out, and make break any blocks outside. But the main chamber in here is always three wide and four tall too deep so that you can actually spawn him and he doesn't phase out the roof uh, and that's with like if you're using any kind of witherproof block that's that's like the minimum size chamber you really need to have or he will escape sometimes go ahead build him up Should just be able to place him against the shield, maybe. Oh, or is the shield not? Okay, anyway. There he is. And I'm pretty sure, like, I won't even, I won't even, shouldn't even take any damage at this range, I don't think. Nope. Hardly even noticed it. Hardly even noticed it. I'm curious, if you use the brass sword, you know, go hit him with the brass sword once, Whisper. See if it just instantly kills him. I'm curious about that. Uh, it does a little bit of damage. Now, nah, best, much better off with the uh, with the guns. It does shoot at us if you get in there a little bit too close. Nice. All right. You want to you want to grab, grab your, your star. grab your nether star. You're gonna make your own anti-grav thing. Yeah. You use our chamber. I am? Yeah. Oh, did you, you put use our chamber? But hang on, I gotta put the, uh, I gotta get the the wither or the uh, the material mm -hmm. melting. I'll get on molten, that. Yeah, the molten ender. The molten ender, yes. Um, gosh, I'm taking a lot of tick damage from that wither. There we go. Finally stopped. Nice. Okay, let me grab sixteen ender pearls. And somewhere over here, I should have my. Before you go down, speed up. If you need any wither skull skeleton skulls, no. he's right no. there. If you ever need some, just go ahead and open him up. And you should be able to see him. It's expensive, oh. but it doesn't. Work. It doesn't. It isn't dangerous. <laughs> you know, it doesn't involve any danger that way. I'll send this back up to the ground floor for them guys. And that should make things a little quicker. We'll get the ender fluid in there. 
Oh, you gotta go down to the... Have you ever done the uh, chamber before? Nope. Okay, so if, uh, before you put it in there, go ahead and look in the, inventory, in the uh, thing. You'll notice over to the side there's an intensity adjustment. Uh, don't don't adjust the um, the fluid. It really wouldn't matter if you did because I only put enough ender pearls in there to, to get the right amount. So the fluid is at 40%. If you look at somewhere in here, there's a show recipes button. Yeah, what we're making is the anti-gravity core to begin with, which is the nether star, which requires a 40% fluid level and a starting intensity of eight. And if you uh, look at the recipe in JEI, you'll notice that it says starting intensity eight, intensity jumps of plus or minus two, uh, with a chance of jump of 100%, which means that at every crafting tick, it's going to need an, an intensity adjustment, unless it's already at 10 and it can't go higher than 10, so. Okay. So it, it may not, but most likely it's gonna require that every time there's a uh, crafting tick and you notice down the bottom there's like those those graduated things down there there's two graduated mm -hmm. uh, uh, bars the bottom one is the amount of time that you have the top one is the progress of the craft and as long as you get the intensity correct the progress will stay ahead of the amount of time left so gotcha. it's, it's got enough fluid in there, so if you're ready, uh, go ahead and toss it in. Looks like it. And you want to get the, uh, yep, just keep the red line, keep the intensity at the red line, basically, each time it changes. The interesting thing is it it is random every time you do a craft. Awesome. There That's you go. it. Got your anti-gravity core. And you can now use that to make you uh, an anti-gravity pack. So you can have creative flight without having to worry about ever powering up your stuff again. Although I do I do kind of wonder if it doesn't take some power. We'll find out once we get one of these actually crafted. Yeah. So you're going to have to actually uh, make some more enriched uranium, brother? Yep. About to do that right now. By the way, I need to put some let's get on fluid here and fill it up with water i hope 40 percent was what i needed i think it was actually 30 percent so we'll see here density seven eight nine no no nope i think i screwed up okay that's easy to fix though so if i just switch that and then i can pull back the water and there it goes now, the nice thing about the uh, uranium is it doesn't require intensity adjustments. So you just toss the uranium in and it does it. In fact, I'm pretty sure if I look at recipes in here, it'll tell me that if I find that one to get to the last one, yeah, it is. Yeah, starting intensity seven recipe is stable, which means that you don't have to make any adjustments. So that's one that you could, could in fact, actually set up for auto crafting because the recipe is stable. All right, so uh, it should be here. Let me just uh, readjust that to fill back up. And it's already set to 30% water. Oh, I gotta adjust this. 30% water and um, you should just need to put some uranium dust in there and you can get you uh, an enriched uranium. But don't worry, I think we have some extra ones in a container up here. So you don't, won't really need to do that. I just need to show it. Uh, so if I look at uranium, yep, we got a bunch of enriched uranium, in fact. So here's one for you. Don't mm. worry, it's safe. It's safe for it's safe for handle. Just don't eat it. It's probably not nom, nom, nom. not safe I for have, consumption. I have your stuff over here, sir. Okay, hang on. Right here, these two. These, uh, what? Who? Uh, yeah, it doesn't do it in a workbench. <laughs> you gotta come over here to the fabricator, not the fabricator, you gotta go to the chemical laboratory with a deplete, nuclear depleted uranium thing. We'll put that in there, and that's gonna. Well, yeah, that's. I was just saying that's where I. Oh, that's where you just say That's where you're storing it. That's all. That's all he's saying. Just storing it over there. Okay, so there we go. We got our nuclear power cells charged up. 
Okay, so, I mean, I'm guessing that since they're nuclear power cells and they're charged all up, okay, awesome. Put those in the top and those in those anti-gravity cores in the center. I'm gonna pull mine out. Why don't you let uh, Whisperfire get a glimpse of that before you pull yours out so she can see what she needs to make. Okay. Nice. Uh, the rest That's... of that stuff. And I'm so Okay, so you, you get a view? Yep. Can you pull mine out? Switched out my jet pack for my anti-gravity pack now. Oh, I should have seen if it had a... Um, should have seen if it had uh, another how skin. Do I get, how do oh, I get that jetpack off my armor? Uh, you don't. That's that's the issue with that jetpack. Because his is actually the uh, immersive engineering one that's taped to the armor. You have to make a new chest plate. Either that or just let it run out of power and then it then don't recharge it. But it should be fine. It should be fine. Uh, does and the... we need nuclear power cells. Does it? Does in it? our inventory, yes. In our inventory. Ooh, okay. I'm going to check what this... Ooh, it has, does have the gun camo. I'm not sure what color that is. Camo 2. Which I can make us a couple more... Default camo. Hmm. Kind of curious what this actually looks like on my back here. Yeah, we can make a couple more. That's not; those are not that hard, really. Not hard at all, in fact. Uh, let's see what it looks like. That's that's actually the color I probably want. I'm floating. Woohoo! Anti gravity. Love it. So this is a true creative flight, basically. Boo, doo, 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 doo. We can just float around, hover as much as we want. That's actually pretty fast moving too. Much faster than the glider or the other jet packs that we have in the pack for lateral movement in the air. Okay, so we'll just let's go ahead and show that uh that build project to Whisper. Okay. So what we've been doing is we've been planning out our space station here. Come down here. Oop, did you already pull it out? No, no, I'm I, I'm sending it back down for. You. Okay, I was gonna show Whisper the uh, the composer here. Okay. So I don't know if you're aware about. I mean, I know you know about the builder, right? Like you know what the builder mm -hmm. is, what it does, more or less. Uh, one of the things that's some I don't know how new this is, but it's definitely newer because I don't remember this thing being in one ten one seven ten, um, and I kind of skipped the versions in between. <laughs> oh, I did do a one dot ten uh, pack, I think. I can't remember even now, uh, but I don't think I made any series in one top ten. Anyway, if you come up, if you come down here, come downstairs. There's a block down here called the composer, and this thing is pretty cool. It, what it does is it allows you to combine shape cards, so you can make your shapes uh, and then combine them into a big composite shape. And I'm, I'm looking at it right now in the interface, which is you know one way to to view it. Right, we're just viewing it up here viewing it in here right now um, it's impressive I'm actually looking at it okay so I'm gonna go ahead the bottom shape card down here is actually the combination of everything that we've put together and pull that out now follow me upstairs and I will show you what this is gonna look like when it's in the world more or less uh, we're gonna use we're gonna end up using um, uh, factory blocks so the plan is to send up just a tiny platform with a builder, a crafter, an, uh, uh, the RF tools crafter, and a, um, what's the other thing I'm trying to say, a drawer with the materials to craft factory blocks. Not the factory blocks, but it's basically a, a drawer with a bunch of stone and a drawer with a bunch of iron ingots in it, right? And it'll just craft us a ton of factory blocks because uh -huh. this thing is going to be a little big here let me uh let me set that to there and uh let's do the preview if you look up in the sky there now you can see that this is going to be our space station 
the size of it, the whole thing here. The top is going to be a dome that's going to eventually be glass. We'll do, and that'll give us the opportunity to make an exchange here and have a good use for that. You see that there's a core that goes runs down through, but it's going to have a uh, uh, fusion reactor, probably in the bottom uh, dome thing here. But we're also going to have a bay that's going to be for gas harvesting. We're going to see if we can get that working but yeah it's just gonna be a little space station just a little space station <laughs> a little <laughs> you can break these too and like go down in if you want um but yeah you can see that i that basically with the combination of all the shapes and everything like that we've got something that's going to work out pretty good and then there'll be turbo shafts that go right up through the center two of them uh using the uh builder uh using the builder um, RF tools elevators. So we'll have two turbo shafts in the center. Uh, probably, like I said, down in the bottom, we will put our um, fusion reactor and our uh, thing that's gonna be, uh, we need to adjust a couple of these things still too, but uh, our fusion reactor and our uh, gas harvesting, you know, our bay for our, our sat, uh, shuttle bay. Shuttle bay, that's the words I'm looking for. Shuttle bay. Shuttle bay. And yeah, we'll do our gas harvesting from the shuttle bay. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know if, we haven't decided yet if we're actually going to put it in space or if we're going to put it in a void dimension. That's kind of, I mean, because if we do the void dimension, we don't have to worry about the whole you know trying to get oxygen through the whole thing because it's big it's a little bit yeah that's gonna be a challenge that would be a challenge to get all that and plus i don't want to cause the lag of the ox of trying to oxygenate it either because that could actually add to the lag situation on the server and we don't really we don't really want to do that even though it is our server <laughs> i'm falling in the water but yeah that's the preview of the space station there that is the space station in um preview blocks um, but I think we're going to wrap this episode up. I think that's a pretty good, uh, good point. Um, if you've enjoyed this, do make sure you hit that like button. And until next time, I will catch you later. Goodbye. Yeah.